Hi everyone. We're driving down East River. Because our island is getting smaller. Yeah, it's, you can't, you probably can't see through it, but the, the water is so high that like the, some, some people's docks are underwater. It's, I mean, not right here, but, but there's some people's docks are underwater. It's a, uh, it's a big deal. What did you say about Those Lake Those ducks Harry? love it. Oh, well, yeah, the, the ducks love it, but humans. This is the highest watermark ever in Lake Erie, ever that, since they started recording these things. That's wild. That's so, really wild. It is a scary amount of water yeah. going right by us. Here, it's up to the seawalls. Yeah. And uh, it's up to here. This, this dock is just it's about covered. Almost covered, yeah. And so, some docks are covered. It's dangerous. You know, be careful. You can't see what's under right. there. That one is underwater. That one is so underwater. So it's 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 wild out here. Um, so we just we wanted to see it selfishly. So <laughs> that's why we're doing it here. Yeah. Um, so what's happening this week? So on Sunday, uh, it's just our calm, normal, regular, relaxed Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Except that it's so not. <laughs> we have we have some inside baseball going on on Sunday. We have uh, some deacons that we're going to elect and ordain, and that's always meaningful. I mean. Um, we recognize and ordain lots of people. And what, what does that mean though? Like, cause that- It means they're set apart for a special ministry. Okay. And it doesn't, it doesn't mean that we have a special class of people. Right, uh, just means that they're doing, it's, we're putting them to work, right? Right. I mean, well, God's putting them to work, not us. Yeah, I, and I always think we really don't have clergy in the Presbyterian church. Right. If we did, I'd be that, but I'm, I don't really use that title. I, right. I just, it just doesn't, fit because I'm not the only ordained person. We ordain deacons. Exactly. We ordain elders. People take their turns. That's kind of cool. It is. It's really cool. And then we're also commissioning our students who are going to the Presbyterian Youth Triennium, which is every three years, Purdue University. Big honking celebration. 5,000 teenagers just running around Purdue University's campus, going to small groups, going to worship, meeting each other. It is a blast. Our kids are going to have so much fun. So we want to send them off right. Right. Um, and and then, then we also have a baptism. A baptism. Which we love. And, love. and uh, that's always a lot of fun. So we're, we're continuing to talk about the Apostles' Creed. And we're at this point where it says, He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. And... Uh, those, the first of the those lines, he descended in hell, is perhaps the most perplexing. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that's of, an understatement, I think. Yeah. yeah. Interestingly, this is not an idea that's just in the Apostles' Creed. It's right. It's also in the Scriptures. It's in the right. Old Testament. It's in the New Testament. And what it means is that there's no limit to where Jesus goes to redeem God's creation. Yeah even to the place of the dead yeah. and wow. there's there's just no limit and the expansiveness of god's love the expansiveness of god's grace that's what this is about yeah. so we'll talk a little bit about that and then on the third day he rose again from the dead this is the resurrection biggest thing right and and this is the center point yeah it, it, it either it kind of either grabs you or it doesn't mm -hmm. and if it does grab you well that's evidence of God at work in you yeah. and the resurrection really is about God this is a statement about who God is and how we know God and how God is revealed and God did this yeah it wasn't Jesus who did this it mm. was God, God rose Jesus. Jesus from the dead yeah. So if, if we want to know God, we know God through Jesus. Yes, absolutely. So we'll talk about that stuff yeah. and, and see where that leads us. Yeah. So big Sunday. It'll be really, really exciting. Um, and I've, I've really loved going through the Apostles' Creed because it's something that we, you know, learn. I learned when I was in eighth grade, and so it's nice to, to dive into it again. And and if you don't, didn't know it as a child, then you're learning, like, I don't know, kind of like foundation stuff, you know, of, of what what it means to to believe in Jesus Christ. So really, really, really cool stuff. And we're doing it so that you can explore your your own faith. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's not Phil's you, not telling you what to believe at all. Like it's yeah. 
it's great. Yeah. Yeah. So we hope to see you then. Um, and if so not, when? we'll see you around. Oh yeah, sorry. Sunday morning. I always forget this. Sunday morning, 8:15 and 9:30 at Grosdale Presbyterian Church. Bye. Bye. We're not underwater. We're not underwater. <laughs>